Here I'm going to talk to you about the present value, what it is, and um, two really easy ways that you can get a present value in Microsoft Excel. So firstly, you may or may not know, the present value essentially tells you how much to invest today so that you have a certain amount in the future. So the basic premise of it is, in 10 years, I want $50,000. Okay, well, how much do I have to invest today and at what interest rate in order to get $50,000? Well, I find the interest rate by the type of investment or security that I'd like to invest in, get the average interest rate, and then I can figure out exactly how much I need today in order to have that 50 grand in 10 years. Now we're gonna talk about, like I said, two ways to do it. This is the mathematical formula right here. The present value equals the future value over one plus the interest rate raised to however many periods there are. I've got all the syntax listed right here with what every argument means and does. The important thing to remember is that n or number of periods can be any time frame, right? Could be weeks, months, days, years, quarters. The only important thing to remember is it all has to stay consistent. I'll talk about what you do when you have to separate it by months later on, but for now let's just keep our number of periods to years. We'll make everything a little bit easier for this. So this is the basic mathematical formula. We'll talk about we'll we'll actually use that in a second. The next thing is the Excel formula. So, let me actually hide this real quick. The formula or the function that we're going to be using is the present value function, and it has a number of arguments. Rate, number of periods, the payment, the future value, and the type. So let's go ahead and go through those right now. Now the rate is going to be the interest rate that you receive on your funds. So let's go with the most basic example, right? I want 50 grand. I've got a bank account. I'm only going to put my money within the bank account. So how much do I put in this bank account today to get 50 grand in 10 years? Okay, so the rate that my bank is giving me is 3.25%. Not so bad, right? The number of periods is going to be 10, because I want to do this for 10 years. Well, the number of payments, well, this is not an annuity problem. I'm not going to be putting any money in my bank account. I want to know how much I'm going to make solely based on are solely based off the income from the interest payments. The next thing is the FV or future value. That is $50,000. How much do I want in the future? Well, I want 50 grand. The last argument is going to be the type. This is similar to the um, future value function. No, it's actually it's exactly the same for type in that the type simply means whether or not you're going to receive money or input in money at the beginning or the end of the period. Now if you leave type blank it's assumed that uh, any amount of money that's due is going to be at the end of the period. If you put a 1 for type, all of the money is going to be entered in the beginning of the period. That's really just for an annuity though, so we don't have to worry about that right now. So let's go ahead and uh, use the um, Excel formula first. So equals PV, open parentheses, let's get our rate. Well, our interest rate is right here, 3.25%, select that, comma, number of periods, 10 years, comma, our payment. Well, are we gonna be paying anything into this? You know, am I gonna add $100 every week or $1,000 every month? No, so our payment is zero, comma. Now for the future value, what do I wanna do for that? Well, I want 50 grand. So, that's all that we need. We don't have to worry about type, close the parentheses, hit enter, and you can see that we need $36,313.61. Now, why is this negative? It's negative because it's basically saying that you need to pay this much into your bank account today in order to get 50,000 in 10 years. Now, the way that we fix that is simply double click the cell and put a negative sign in front of the function. It's not gonna hurt anything, simply makes it a positive number. Now, let's go ahead and use the formula. So this is the formula, don't forget, future value over one plus the interest rate raised to the number of periods. We'll do that right here, very quick, equals future value divided by one plus the interest rate raised to the number of periods, 10, close parentheses, hit enter, and it is exactly the same. 
So those are the two different ways you can calculate the present value in Excel. And uh, if you're in Excel, really you're only, go only going to be using the present value function. So I will leave you with this.